everyone. I got another review for you. This is Ted Morena from the Tesla owners of Silicon Valley. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Tesla Shields mud flaps. So you guys know how these work. Four categories, product look and feel, the installation, uh, the, you know, the capabilities, functionality, then the price value, and then we give a rating at the end. So I'm just going to keep going here, kind of open up the package and give you my first impressions. So um, this is these are for my Model Y, um, and I believe that they have them for both 3 and Y. So it's uh, obviously a plastic um, flap. The, um, the finish seems uh, pretty good. It's uh, it's got some flex in it, but it's also, it seems, you know, quite rigid. And I'll tell you one thing that I always already like about these is on the back, you maybe can't see it. I'll do a little close up, but it actually shows you where it goes. So you can, um, if you can see that, it actually says on this one um, for the right um, left side or the rear left side, left rear. So that's, that's really great. I appreciate them putting that in there. So um, little bonus points there. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is get on to the install. Okay guys, so here's a couple of details. Um, I opened up, this is the front right um, flap. Okay, first thing, there's a, a guide here. See this ridge? So that's gonna slide up and I'll show you where it'll uh, fit on the inside lip of the vehicle. Now, the instructions on the site say, hey, there's no holes drilled. Well, that's true, but I do want to point out, hey, you know, there's two holes here. So I was like looking at it. What is, where, where's the beef? What's going on? So what there are, are there's a plug. See this like plug? Okay. And then there's a pin. And so, okay, I looked at this and I said, well, okay, maybe I don't have to drill, but I got to do something because how's this going to get in my car? There's no hole there. So let me actually show that to you. So I'm going to turn this over here and let me get into that particular spot. And then you can see right uh, down there. Yep. Okay. So this is like a test fit, right? So excuse the, the ring light there, but you can see that lip fit on the inside, in the inside there. And then what you'll notice is when you mount it, oh, I saw this hole in this hole, there's these little covers. So can you see that little guy? So what I'm gonna show you right now is how what you need to do, you need to pop that out. So again, <laughs> I wish the instructions would just say this. I mean, I figured it out, you can too, but wouldn't it be nice if they just said these kind of things? So there you go. So this is the plug uh, from the Tesla and you need to replace it with one of these. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I'll take the other one out. You can see the other one further back there. Um, put these in and then I'll have the first uh, flap installed. So um, let me let me do that and then I'll, I'll show you the next one. Okay, so I wanna show you the um, this, this mud flap. And um, basically, so as you can see, let me go and see if I can zoom in there to show you. I put in the two pins. You can um, see how I, I put those in and then you have the lip here. And um, so the finish is, is pretty good. Um, you know, one thing that I'm a little, I'm uh, sorry to do this to everybody. One thing I'm a little annoyed at is the, you know, the, the sort of the seal there. Um, I suppose, again, it's aftermarket and it's going to be some variation. So you can see where my thumb is. It's a little off. Um, honestly, the, the biggest concern that I have is I, I don't really believe these are 100% as solid and stable as they could be. So um, I, just with a little bit of force, um, you know, you can see I can actually pull this right out. Hey, guys. Okay. So, I mean, I think you could see that I wasn't super thrilled with the um, the flaps. Uh, I do think that it's well made. Uh, I do think the issue is really comes down to the pin with this with this grommet. And so, you know, what I'm gonna actually recommend is that the manufacturer include a pin that's a little thicker. See, what happens is that it does expand, but 
it, it, it only, ex it has to expand. You have to push this in pretty far and got to remember that you're going through the plastic. So it's not, the pin can't get all the way through. And so I think if the pin was thicker, um, that would spread this faster and wider. And then when it's ultimately in the vehicle, it's going to hold it tighter. So will a thicker pin make it a little harder for you to insert it and install? Yes. But long term, that's a better compromise. So I'm still going to provide a rating um, because you know, there's definitely value in having mud flaps that you know can prevent the dirt and stuff. So I, I think from a product point of view, it's a four. Uh, the, the design, the idea is good. I think the install instructions, there aren't any really, um, but they're not hard to figure out. So that's probably like a four as well. I think from a functionality point of view, I'm not going to rate it high and, and I'm going to give it a two. Um, and then uh, from a, a cost perspective, I think it's just going to depend on how much you, you know, you really want to have a flap. So uh, I would rate that as a, a three. Um, I uh, Actually, I give it a four because um, as I look at the, the cost of these things, it's not outrageous and you know obviously you're getting four of them and um you know it protects your vehicle so that's obviously worth quite a bit so so that's a, a final score of 14. so um if the manufacturer comes back and has a modified design changes the pin or whatever we'll do another review all right well this is trust ted and again um if you're a member or you uh, are interested in joining the silicon valley uh the tesla owners silicon valley you know, come on board. Thanks again. Bye.